And he said he's a very wicked man, and he confessed to doing some very terrible things, including molesting his daughter and sister and others. And I think his own words describe himself more than I would care to, to characterize it. And we are back talking about former polygamous leader Warren Jeffs and the possibility he could spend the rest of his life in jail if convicted on charges of child sexual assault. As head of the FLDS polygamous sect, Jeffs had multiple wives and could also pick brides for other church elders. In this audio recording, Jeffs talks about first-time brides. Get a listen to this. And how the women of his congregation need to be submissive. Watch this. Many young men, when they receive their first wife, are just so untrained. And the woman, if she's not careful, will be overbearing and always ask permission for what she wants. Can ladies build up your husband by being submissive? That's how you will give your children the success. You will want your children to be obedient and submissive to righteous living. Wow. With us to talk about this are two women who both grew up in polygamous households, Kathy Jo Nicholson, who is a former member of FLDS, and Lori Allen, a former member of the LeBaron polygamous sect. And, of course, Lonnie Coombs still here with me, a former Los Angeles County prosecutor. Kathy Jo, was this the kind of thing Jeff's told members of his congregation often? Every day. And when you mentioned earlier that he had many wives of his own and he could select wives for other men that was actually he would it, there was no question you could not choose your own mate it was up to him wow uh lori i want to go out to you why did you end up leaving how'd you get out well i actually jumped out the second story window uh onto a flatbed truckload of pigs uh, one of my uncles had kidnapped me and we were living in central america he was kind of like jeff's he was an outlaw and you know running from the law and so it, it was quite a quite an ordeal escaping from central america when i was 16 and not knowing where i had a single relative on the outside when i finally got a job as a live-in nanny basically in florida they paid for my flight to the united states and when i got here it took me nine months to find a relative on the outside i, I didn't know where anybody was Lori, i gotta say i am so outraged by the underage bride and then this disgusting demeaning attitude towards women i mean do we not live in a time when women's rights mean something and our country is supposed to protect them how do i understand that this goes on in our country you know dr drew it's mind-boggling i you know that women uh, children i mean children there's no protection from them whatsoever and you know one of the things Elaine Jeff says in my film and she's this is Warren Jeff's sister they take children from the time they're born and they just strip them of all their emotions like babies for example they waterboard him when a baby starts crying they'll hold its face under water so that it'll stop oh crying my God. in in my family what they would do is they would cut the baby's mouth with the and nose with a hand so when the baby can't breathe then it stops crying then in a few seconds after you take the hand away it'll start crying again and then you cup it and knock and cut its breath off again they do this over and over and over again and after a few months oh. the baby just stops crying and they do Kathy this Joe, they, they uh, strip uh, uh, go ahead Lori. i'm sorry finish no, that's okay. I'm Obviously, just saying that they strip you uh, from your of your emotions from a very young age, and that's how they get these people to do this and just be zombies and go along with what the patriarchy says. And, and Kathy Joe, you said you witnessed some of this stuff at the school where he was the principal. Is that the kind of abuse that you were talking about here? Well, on that level, yes. Not obviously not with the with the babies. I um, witnessed some of that in inside of homes. Not mine, thank God. Um, but. Yes, on every uh, every age, there was some that form, I guess metaphorically, of stuffing emotions back down, covering up your mouth and your nose and, until you couldn't breathe. I don't. I mean, it just it's hard to describe. You know, it's not even always physical.